and thanks for staying with us, everyone on the program. Let's get back to the conversation tonight. Uh, it's about the visit of President Muhammadu Buhari to Taraba State. That's one of the states that have been affected by clashes and attacks by headsmen and uh, some cases of uh, clashes between headsmen and farmers. So the president visited today and the question has been, why has it not come earlier before now? At least those are some of uh, the questions raised by the critics of this government. And so we've been talking uh, with the uh, president's special advisor on media, Mr. Femi Additional, and we have Mr. Ken Okolubo, a uh, member of the PDP and a political analyst, and also Mr. Ali Yu Abdullah, a member of the Buhari support group on the program tonight. Let's get to Abuja now with Mr. Abdullah uh, Ali Yu. A big question on the manner in which the president has handled uh, some of his visits and perhaps the way it, uh, per the perception uh, has come, uh, because they say perception is everything. Uh, do you think that perhaps the president should have handled this differently? Well, thank, thank you, Sean, for having me. Um, I believe if we look at what, uh, how President Muhammad Buhari handles uh, his things, uh, he does, uh, I once said it somewhere, I think, uh, perhaps on this platform, that uh, the president uh, we know, we get to know now, is someone who tends to act on the side of wisdom, unlike uh, perhaps maybe when he was uh, head of state, uh, a military head of state. Now, with age on his side, and uh, uh, perhaps with the kind of uh, governance we have in a democratic setting, there are things to consider, there are advices to seek, like uh, you have heard on the statement from the president's spokesman, there was a report. I believe the president wanted to visit as soon as possible as when those occurrences were happening, but he has to be advised to really look at the situation, read the report, security report, and things like that before he can come to the decision when to trouble. But more important, I think, uh, the visit is quite important, but the actions to tackle those security challenges, those issues behind the loss of lives, I think they are more uh, of utmost importance to the president. If the president would have it, he would not want to have a loss of life, even a single loss of life under his administration is something that he would not like. He is the Mr. Abdullahi, the perhaps we should get uh, Mr. Abdullahi, perhaps we should get a line of the conversation right. The question around the visit of the president today to Taraba is one, why now? Why hasn't it come earlier before now and a big question also when this kind of things happen people people make comparison with other leaders around the world those are big questions for the president in which you work for isn't it well um the, i think let me start with the last question first perhaps i don't think it's uh, really uh right to equate to uh, compare with other countries uh maybe i have had a lot of uh, uh, argument about the united states of america you know these are not uh, we are not on the same level of uh, uh, even the security uh, 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 apparatus around the country is not the same and uh, what we can say or what we can do is maybe perhaps to compare it with past administrations how they have handled these issues so uh, Again, when you say whether they visit now, why now? I, because right now, you have had the spokesman. He has received the security report. He knows what to discuss with the stakeholders when he gets to the states and meet with them. But, but if he has gone earlier without knowing what really transpired, what really took place, what happened, how can he discuss uh, 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 with the stakeholders, the parents, the victims, uh, uh, next of kin, and so on and so forth. But now he is in a better position to have a, a, a good discussion with all relevant stakeholders, all parties involved. Mr. Ali, uh, maybe again I should put this question you through. Um, you, I, I, I'm, I'm very starting that you're hearing what the, uh, your opposition is saying, especially the PDP. We've had uh, the, uh, the PDP of officials talking about this. And the question is, when the nation is in a sober mood, where you find a president, some people over the weekend were saying, our girls are missing, 
the president is in a marriage ceremony. So those are uh, perhaps uh, ironic for some Nigerians, and perhaps the timing, isn't it key for a leader that uh, perception is uh, we determine a whole lot for? Okay, let me answer you. You see, when it comes to President Mohammed Bahari, he does not play politics with such things, actually. If you get to know him, like some of us actually did, did get to, against even advice of optics, good optics, and things like that, he doesn't really follow it. What he does, he tries to do what he feels and thinks is the right thing to do. And now about the, uh, the, about the abduction of the, uh, uh, the adoptee girls. Let me tell you, a lot of people say the president did not sympathize and so on. This president has none lost. He has experienced loss. His first daughter was actually died in her prime time. So he and he is the father to odd, to additional eight girls right now. So whenever things like that happen, especially abduction of girls, it touches the hearts of the president. It touches his very core. Okay. Every life lost let's, let's, in this. Country. Let, let's it get some other perspectives, Mr. Ali. Let, let's come to Lagos quickly. Uh, Mr. Okolubo, you heard what Mr. Uh, Abdullah said about all of these issues. But the question would be, is the opposition perhaps insensitive to some of these issues? Uh, perhaps you should have given a break for someone who does these things in a manner in which a lot of his, uh, uh, his, uh, the people who work with him say he likes to apply wisdom and uh, his own timing perhaps may not be what your party agrees with. Is your party perhaps uh, insensitive or uh, too harsh in this matter? What wisdom? What would it take him to just hop on the FOS1, Nigerian FOS1, and he, he'll find himself in Benue in less than 30 minutes Did he just hop into trouble yes. again like that? Because, well, first of all, he's a commander-in-chief. What report is he waiting for? Headsmen have killed, headsmen have attacked. All he needs to do is... Go sympathize with them. Rather, you call the officials, you call the, the Bene State Governor, and you summon the Even when you have not leaders. received any security report? What security report are you waiting for to sympathize with your this people? This is the number one citizen it's of the country. It's not enough. It's not no, just an ordinary citizen that when, works when, into if it. If it was when Bonu was, it was a hot zone, and they said it's not safe for you to visit, it's a different case. In this attack, the, the headsmen, do, do, they do not have the capacity to be able to attack in such a way that the security formation for a visiting president if, if they activate it in 24 hours, we'll be able to protect President Buhari. It is a minus. You can see the other guy in Abuja. I can't remember his name now. He couldn't answer any of your questions. He had no, he had no answer to any of the questions you put to him. He has just been, you know, dribbling around the questions. The truth here is, if these are the kind of advisors that are advising uh, uh, President Mohammed Buhari, then we, we shouldn't be shocked that we are we're finding our, ourselves in the state that we find ourselves in. The today. question would be, yes. uh, how would because you Because I have to look up to his eyes and tell him the truth. And what would and be the, the truth? No, no, but you, you, you are asking the president to visit If I was working for PNB, I'll tell him he has, it's, it's a thumbs down. You wouldn't have some of the three people killed and you start with Taraba. I mean, it's a welcome development, whether we like it or not, that he has, he's, he has decided to visit quite a right. But why did he even start with Taraba? He should have started with a hotbed, which was Binwi. Then you go to Taraba, then you go to other places. But I mean, it's, to me, it's medicine after death. But there are a lot of things that the president sees that always, we don't see. Yeah, but it's medicine after death. It's, 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 you can, I mean, go to social media, although, of course, maybe most of them might not be uh, registered voters. And that's why it's important that everybody gets registered now. We, our voices should be heard. What the president has done is a thumbs down. Mr. Ken yes. Okolibo, um, a political analyst and a member of the PDP. Mr. Abdullah Aliyu, member of the Buhari Support Group. Many thanks, gentlemen, for your time on the program. Well, that's our show for tonight. Many thanks, everyone, for being part of it. Wherever you may be watching, thank you indeed. I'm sure. Kimbalo. Bye-bye.